Hey Baylor, how you doing? Doing well. How you doing, Jared? Good. Good. We all love a quarterback uh, competition. How much do you guys enjoy being in a situation right now where you know every rep matters? You got to try and make the most of every situation, even though it's spring. Yeah, I mean, I've never really known anything different since I've been here, so it's just the casual for me. Um, no, but I mean, it's good. It makes everyone better having to compete, having to take every rep seriously, every drill seriously. Uh, it just makes the whole room, you know, elevate and perform at a high, higher level every single day. How much fun is it with the room? Because you guys are going against each other. You all want the starting job. But I, from what I've been told before by Jaron and you and everybody, that you guys work together to help each other improve as well. So the, the balance there, what's that like for you? Yeah, at the, at the end of the day, we're all on the same team. We're all working towards the same goal, which is to win football games. Um, we joke around with each other a lot on the field, try to have a, you know some good laughs while we're out there, not just make it tense the whole time. But we understand that we're competing as well. Um, and take our reps seriously when we are competing. All right, let's go with uh, Mitch and the Jake. Yeah, Baylor, in what areas do you feel like you improved last season as the number two quarterback behind Zach? Yeah, for me, a lot of my development has come from uh, just real game situations, whether that was, you know, taking um, reps late in games last year or in practices last year and then uh, reps in the spring as well just making making the game become more natural to, for me and a lot of that a lot of that has come with film study for me as well as I've just learned more about the game learned how defenses um, flow and just really making the the entire game come more natural to me I feel like that's the biggest improvement that I've made from you know last year to this spring ball the pandemic you know created challenges in terms of always you know being in person and having that interaction with people on a consistent basis but you know since the end of last season have you had opportunities to maybe you know form stronger connections and relationships with receivers the tight end offensive line uh, since the end of last season yeah i mean we've been we've been full go in off season workouts since school started back up in january we've been in person working out in our in our groups and stuff and you know, three, four times a week, we'd get the receivers, tight ends, running backs out and uh, throw with them. So, I mean, it's just the chemistry between the whole offense has just continued to grow. And a lot of guys are returning. A lot of guys have experience. Um, but then again, there's, a, there's younger guys as well. And I just feel like it's, it's fluid and the connection's there. Uh, I feel I'm very smart with the football. Um, I tend to make decisions quickly, and my philosophy as a quarterback is to get the ball accurately on time to playmakers and you know let them do the rest. And I feel that that's where my strengths come from. And I wanted to ask you, in terms of the, as Jared talked about, the quarterback battle this spring, when you guys look forward to the ball, how do you feel like, well, I guess, what do you feel like you need to prove to feel like you're in the mix all the way through in the training camp and beyond? Um, for me personally, I just I need to be consistent every single day, and that's something that I've worked on. Just every ball, every you know drop back, every every rep, every play, just being consistent. Um, that's something that I've worked really hard to be, and you know that's showing so far in spring ball for me. up with a question from Ben and Hunter. Baylor, uh, we've already seen a few highlights come out of spring. Obviously, these are just small excerpts of what the uh, the entire practice looks like, but you, you showed off your, your arm strength, which I think some people didn't realize you had. I mean, this was a really good throw, a touchdown pass to Keanu Hill. Could you speak to um, your development as far as arm strength and where you're at currently in that? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I guess I didn't re really know that my arm strength was that question, but um, I mean, it's just something that I work on to get bigger, faster, stronger, you know, since I got here to college. Um, and that development has come a long way since I've been here. But I mean, I feel confident right now throwing any ball on the field, um, throwing the ball down the field. And just as a, as a quarterback right now, this is physically the healthiest I've felt since I've been here. Also mentally the healthiest I've felt since I've been here. And 
I'm feeling good so far. Uh, which wide receivers have you been able to develop some chemistry with thus far through uh, the offseason and into uh, spring ball? Yeah, um, a lot of guys that contributed last year maybe didn't have starting roles or big roles. Um, Keanu Hill being one of them, um, Braden Cosper, I mean, Neil Pau, that chemistry continues to grow. And then, again, just a lot of the younger guys that are coming in that have a possibility, possibility to contribute next year as well. Taylor, I think it's been well reported that Zach drove about 100 hours both ways to train with John Beck. Uh, has there been something that you've been doing either this off season or that you plan to do this <laughs> summer to you know improve and get better at? Uh, not, not not driving 100 hours each way, no, but uh, just staying in town, working with my receivers every single day and building as much chemistry as I can with them. All right, I think that's it for today. Thanks. All right, thanks, guys.